Hey guys, what's up? Kim Nonstop here, and I just finished a big bike race. My legs don't want to work right now. They hurt, feel like lead. So I'm gonna stay seated because it's been a long time since I brought you a limited mobility workout. How's that sound? So today is gonna be seated cardio kickboxing. All you need is to follow along with me, no equipment and a sturdy place to sit, preferably with a little space behind you. 30 second intervals. And we're just gonna go ahead and get started warming up with punches. You wanna keep your core tight, draw your belly button towards your spine and punch really fast and you're gonna keep everything nice and tight. You see my arms aren't flailing out, my elbows aren't up here yet. We're not doing that right now. So just keep your shoulders down, your chin tucked, your belly button drawn towards your spine, and you're punching, and you're punching, and you're punching, and you're punching. And then the next thing, we are going to move into bob and weaves. Foot belt and bob and weave. And again, if you have leg mobility, you might see I'm moving my legs. Obviously, I have leg mobility, so. Um, you can also mimic what I'm doing with my legs. If you don't have leg mobility, don't worry about it. Upper body, core, abs, shoulders, arms, biceps, all that stuff are gonna work. So bob and weave, get nice and low. Whew, I feel my core working already. And then we're just gonna go back to the punches right here. Quick punches. Tuck your chin, shoulders down, belly button drawn in, you're sitting up as tall as you can. Quick punches, quick punches straight out. These are just regular jabs right now. Don't worry, we will get fancy eventually. But just right now, this is the warm up. So super fun, quick, easy warm up. And as you can tell, I'm already breathing heavy. So this is a cardio workout as well as a boxing workout. <laughs> Bobby, we get nice and low. Um, if you've seen any of my other boxing workouts, then you know I um, am not a formally trained martial artist. So disclaimer, don't try any of these moves in a bar fight. Get nice and low, drop down as low as you can go in your chair. You're tucking your belly button in, you're crunching in, your arms are in, everything, you're just like a powerful ball. And now we're gonna do this one more time. Whoo, get nice and low. Jab, 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 that's it. Ah, quick, quick, quick jabs and tucking the chin, belly button in. I'm like reminding myself now too. By the way, did I mention I'm in Iceland right now? <laughs> yeah, this is not my apartment. This is an Airbnb of, uh, in Reykjavik. Anyway, keep going. Punching fast, 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 fast. Oh, I know I can go faster. There we go. Quick, quick, quick. We got five seconds left. Keep it going nice and fast. And get ready to bob and weave. Here we go. And get this nice and low. And yes, you need to have like your feet stable on the ground for this, or else you might topple forward. So be careful. If you are in a wheelchair, you should be nice and stable with your feet planted, um, either on some rest or on the ground, preferably the ground. Uh, nice and low, nice and low. Uh, get in there, get in there. Jeez. Uh, and dip, and dip, good. Now we're gonna switch to uppercuts. So 30 seconds of uppercuts. And the difference with an uppercut, I want you to think like you are punching someone in the jaw, like boom, right up there, yeah? So you are using more of your biceps. The chair is wiggling. You're using more of your biceps and abs for this, but definitely biceps. And punching up, upward, upward, upward. In, yeah, get in there. And now this one is like a row. This is not a boxing move, I'm pretty sure, as far as I know. Uh, but you wanna pretend like you are uh, rowing through some serious mud. Like there is like some gnarly, murky, muddy stuff and you are trying to get your kayak through it. Um, this has nothing to do with boxing, but it works, your core. So we're doing it. And it's great to intersperse between the uppercuts. Good, uppercuts again. You really get in there, I want you to think like you are punching someone in the stomach or the jaw, depending on, I don't know, where you are in relation to their height. And like, digging in. Be careful you don't punch yourself in the face. No lie, I have done that before. <laughs> in spin class. And punch underneath, underneath. We do an arm series in spin class, just for the record. I'm not like randomly flailing my arms in spin class. Get in there, get in there. Good, and then we row, row through the mud. And get nice and low on each side. 
And this workout isn't just for people in wheelchairs, isn't just for people with, you know, amputees or anyone with serious limited mobility. It can also be if you're injured um, or recovering from an injury and you know you're not supposed to use your legs, right? So we're gonna go for one more set, three, like the last time, and we'll get into those <sighs> uppercuts. Boom, boom, get that. Punch her nice and hard. And abs are tight, not punching yourself in the face. Biceps really working. You wanna throw some power into these moves because that is what gets you going. Get ready, guys. The next one is a double jab. We've got five seconds left. Keep those abs tight. Good, double jab. So double and double. One, two, one, two. The cool thing about the double jab is that it makes you, I don't know, like you rebound. It's like, it makes my abs work harder. And keep it going, double jab, double jab. And then the next move is a block. It's a little bit similar to the bobbin weave. With the bobbin weave, you want to think about your ducking, whereas the block, you're blocking. Block, 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 right? So. My hands are together, my abs are tight. It's more like, you know, an abdominal twist if you wanna think of it that way. But you wanna keep your hands up to block your face and blocking punches that are coming at you, right? Keep it going. So action packed in our chairs today. Block them, block them, block them. No punching is getting through and now we're double jabbing again. Double jab. Sit up nice and tall, drop your chin, pull your belly button in, oh, double jab all day, double jab all day, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And um, you also want to think like, you are, oh, I'm so out of breath, I can't even like make a sentence right now. Hang on, my arms are tired, jeez. Let's go. Core is getting tired too. Okay, block it. Good, 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 block it, block it. Mm, mm. If someone's like working out with you, it would be cool if they like put their hand here so you could like hit it. A little bit of uh, resistance back is always fun. Have you guys ever sparred before? I've done it like once, it was terrifying because I thought I was gonna mess up and get punched in the face. <laughs> keep it going, keep blocking, keep blocking. And one more time with the double punches, double punches. Let's try to go a little quicker, guys, quicker. Woo, arms up. Burning, double bunch of ass. Hell yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, my biceps and my shoulders and my core on fire. Keep it going, guys. It's only 30 seconds. And as I look down at my clock, it says that I've got six seconds to go. So we got one more time with those blocks. And then it's on to the next move. Keep it going. So now we're gonna, um, I am going to use my legs on this next move. However, if you don't have leg mobility today, um, you can use arms. So I'll show you both. Block it, block it, block it. Come on, twist it. Twist it. Get those obliques to fire up your hand. Uh, here we go. So I'm gonna put my arm down here and I'm going to low side kick, high side kick, low side kick, high side kick. Now, if you don't have leg mobility, you're gonna go low punch, high punch. You choose which one you're gonna do and I'm gonna start the 30 seconds from here. I'm gonna do the kicks. Low side kick, high side kick, low side kick, high side kick. Trying to keep my flimsy Ikea chair on the ground. Low side kick, high side kick. And obviously, this works Ah, oh, for anyone who, you know, is dealing with like an ankle injury right now. Um, or, you know, you can't put weight on your leg. You broke your foot or something. But, obviously, no leg mobility. You're gonna use the arms. Low punch, high punch. Low side kick, high side kick, high side kick, high side kick. And we are going to switch these up. On either side, we wanna do two sets on each side. Uh, I can't, didn't I say I was gonna rest my legs? What happened to that? 
Let us side kick. Let us side kick. Uh, other side. Remember, punching if you don't have the leg mobility. Low side kick. That was my excuse to not do that set. <laughs> Low side kick. High side kick. Keep it going, guys. Drawing the knee in towards your chest in between because it will seriously get your oblique to burn on that side. Oh, other side. Low side kick, high side kick. Low side kick, high side kick. It's helpful if you lean on your hip a little more, but I've got a gnarly bruise on my hip. So that's why this side's a little wonky. Low side kick, high side kick. Low side kick, high side kick. Almost there, guys. Come on, finish it. We're only doing two of these. We're not doing three of these speed bags here. So quick speed bags, your elbows are up. But take note, my neck is more or less drawn down. My shoulders are drawn down. I'm not scrunching up here. So what we want to avoid, we want to avoid this. And we want to go here. Sit up tall, lift your chest, draw your belly button in. And speed bag, speed bag so fast that your arms are blur because you're such a ninja. We are ninjas today. And now we're going butt lift and down. Lift and down. If you can, lift your knees, do it. Oh, lift. 30 seconds of this is gonna kill me. Butt lift and butt lift. Butt lift. Ooh, this chair's flimsy. I highly recommend not using an Ikea chair. Butt lift and down. Butt lift and down. Ooh, speed back. <laughs> yes. Use a heavier chair or a heavier stool, or maybe even a table. Speed bag, speed bag, speed bag, speed bag. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. So check out my neck, my neck is nice and loose. If it helps to go like this while you're doing the speed bag, just to note that you're not going like this, right? So if you were crunching up, you wouldn't be able to do that. So sometimes I just like to move my head around a little bit. Oh, butt lifts. Butt lift and down. Butt lift and down. Oh, I don't want to do these anymore. How are you guys feeling? Actually, in the comments below, I really want you guys to tell me what was your favorite move in this routine and what was your least favorite move? Because I can say this is my least favorite move. Butt lift and down. Butt lift and down. Woo! Oh my God. Butt lift and down. Okay, we're coming back to those kicks. Ready, guys? So low and high kicks. Again, you can do punches if you don't have the leg mobility. Low and high kicks. Low and high kicks. Low and high kicks. Low and high kicks. Low. Mm. Kick the crap out of the air. Yes. <laughs> high kicks. If your chair is more sturdy than mine, you can bring your arm up because that would be awesome. <sighs> My chair is going to break. Low and high kicks. Low and high kicks. Again, you can do the punches depending on what your body lets you do today. Oh my goodness. Whoever says seated workouts are easy has never done a seated workout. High kicks. Low. Okay, get ready. We're going to switch back to the speed bag. That's right. You thought I was going to keep going, but I'm not. Speed bag. Because we got to do three. I just had to put a break in there because those kicks are hard, but those butt lifts are harder. Keep it going, lift, 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 lift through your torso, drop your chin, keep those speed bags going. Speed bag it up, speed bag it up, speed bag it up, speed bag it up. Come on, fly, fly, arms fly, fly, arms fly. Whew. Oh my God, it burns. Is this over yet? Butt lifts, last one, here we go. Ugh. Pull those knees up. Pull those knees up. Oh my god. And lift. And lift. And you guys know, if you can't lift your knees, you just lift your butt, okay? So this is the other option. But I want you to try to lift your knees up, because that really kills the intensity of this move. 
Oh, yes. Woo, got that sweat on. So this workout took about 15 minutes. For an extra cardio boost, you're gonna do this two times through for 30 minutes. That's right, I said it, 30 minutes. I'm Kim Nonstop. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, send it to anyone who needs a little bit of a creative inspiration for limited mobility workouts, and then send them my whole playlist of limited mobility workouts, cause I have an entire playlist. You can support me by joining my Patreon team. We support Girls Inc. as well as my videos. And I post videos here every week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.